Hey guys, it is me and today is the day where I will show you my beautiful Oasis transformation and I'm really excited about that because I've transformed my little normal boring backyard into my own paradise. So with this said, let's get started, baby. Woo, the alarm is on. As you can see, we have protection in the house. Okay, let's get started, guys. I'm on my way to go and have an amazing workout. I'm sorry for every time you see me in the video, I'm always dressed up in a bra, in a sports bra. <laughs> it is summer, I am in shape, I'm trying to stay in shape. Um, and so, you know me, I get up, I get started, it's early in the morning. I start my videos and I'm off for the day. So I will show you right here a before picture and this is gonna be the after. And um, I'm really, really excited for you guys to discover my little world, my little sanctuary. It is actually my go-to, it is my relaxing place. It is a place that I've created so that I can find myself and I can be happy. And this is my paradise and welcome to my paradise. I'm really excited. Now let's get started. This is what it looks like, yes, I know. You're gonna be like, what the hell? I get it. <laughs> All right, let's get started. First things first, what is an oasis backyard without a bar, right? A bar, you guys, I have uh, this gentleman who is awesome, make me this amazing wooden bar with a wooden chair, which he made from scratch, um, polished the wood. Uh, it's very solid, very, very hard. Um, made me the cutest little bar with the cutest little neon lights. I actually got myself a nice popcorn machine for movie night. So I'm telling you guys, I do not need to go anywhere anymore. Who needs tropical islands? I have it all here. Um, I didn't spend a lot of money. That's the beauty of it all. A lot of stuff is from thrift store. A lot of things are secondhand. A lot of things I've built myself. So I'm really, really proud of my new backyard. I love it. Fan was there when we purchased the house. TV we've had which I've had it installed professionally. Tiki sign that lights up at night, you guys. And I'm gonna post a picture of us at night throwing parties and how beautiful this place uh, lit, lights up and how beautiful it is. Now, I've added some gorgeous couches, which I've purchased, obviously. These ones were um, on sale. I've actually purchased a rug to kind of go with that look. I've added, uh, and it also came with the set, so. Um, I've also added a beautiful fireplace. Um, there you go, it's pretty long. So uh, not that we need it at all because it is so hot here, it's like 110. <laughs> um, but it just kind of definitely sets the tone in this whole Oasis theme. And I've had this for about four years sitting in my garage. But uh, my wonderful ex, who is by nature very lazy, uh, couldn't help me. So I had um, some help and get this out of, the, you know, out of the garage and finally out in the open. So it looks absolutely gorgeous. Um, got these sofas secondhand. You can see they are beautiful. They're a little bit damaged and maybe dirty. Nothing that I can't fix. I just got them not too long ago. So it kind of like, for some reason, just kind of like underlines the area here. And when I have my friends, my girlfriends over, they are wonderful. We're all sitting all around here together. I've got those little swivel chairs that came in the set. Um, and that was a, a great deal. So she sold me this with these secondhand. Um, I think they were missing pillows, which I didn't really care because I could always, you know, you could always buy pillows or make pillows with styrofoam or, or uh, not styrofoam, but with little, little spongies. And so, yeah. Um, so there you have it. This is our little sofa area. Then I got these little baskets to put our remote in there. So I've got remotes to drum roll, our beautiful projector here. Yeah, I had it professionally installed with the speakers on both ends. And um, at night, are you guys ready for this? We get to see our beautiful movie screen TV, screen projector, which I made. Um, I could tell you a little bit more. It's really sunny out there, so I don't know if you're gonna see much. But um, as you can see here, you've got the screen that's made with material. 
Um, it's actually a sheet that I got for like $7 at Walmart. They were really cheap, 200 thread count. Um, I got the king, queen size because my All right, so then I was gonna put the caps on all fours because we don't want to leave the tubes out. And then I did the frame with put the cap on the other side. As you can see, the frame is pretty Good job, honey. Um, yeah, we forgot it. And we got the two other sides left. But, for our um, big you know, giant screen project. And I've actually glued awesome, this together. Baby. You're doing a great um, job. Look at you. You're my little assistant. We kind of like good just job. put it on just like a sock, I guess, if you will. So I glued them on both sides. My friend wanted to sew it, but um, I ended up gluing it, which kind of worked as well. So um, now for the beauty of it all, um, I've added some gorgeous patio curtains which gave it some accent. Um, I think without those, you don't really get that feel of the oasis. So as you can see, I've got a couple here going on. I've got two in the back, um, two over there, and two over here. Um, now I've doubled these. So just one, I tried with one and it wasn't thick enough. So I tried with two and then tie the two together. Um, and then I've also created a PVC pipe, um, how do you call it, like curtain rod just so that obviously the curtains can hold. And I've got little holders throughout, uh, which I've installed. And um, I also added some uh, solar lights to make sure that the solar lights go on. I didn't want to use electricity if I didn't have to. And so the solar lights go on at about seven o'clock when it starts getting a little bit darker. Um, so overall, it looks beautiful. I've got wide space here. So it was very important that I doubled these and then added these cute little magnet um, little holder. They were so adorable. I got those, I think it was an eight pack on Amazon for really cheap. Um, also, these are singles. Okay, so these curtains are singles. These are doubles, as you can see, and I've tied them up together. Um, now, these are singles because the space here is smaller than the space here. Um, but the problem with that is that it was just kind of showing a little string of curtain so i had to kind of tie them up at the and both ends so that they wouldn't move so it would kind of keep them large so it would give me that effect you know so i really really enjoy i also have a little basket where i put all of my usually my towels are here all rolled up um but the kids have taken them because they've been swimming just about every day it's been really hot here so um this is the back of the bar the back of the bar, we got the popcorn, uh, the glasses. We've got our little bug killer right there because at night, obviously, when we're partying it up, I have my little drink aroma. I purchased this from a, a man that had a tiki bar, was getting rid of everything from it. So I got this little guy. He made it. So you basically pop your beer bottle and then it kind of goes down and wherever it ends, lands, you have to either, you know, drink with your buddy, pass a shot. <laughs> take a shot so we had some crazy parties so far we had a good time so this is the oasis obviously you guys know my pool we've got some lit up balls which light up at night um the little waterfall i've actually added a lot of the spotlights on my palm tree so at night the palm trees light up from the solar lights and i've also added some little solar tinier lights right here um, and they're so adorable, you guys. Those are the same that I have on my PVC pipe. So all of these are all solar, and one of the solar captures the sun on the top here. My other one catches the sun um, at the bottom here. I've tried, see how it's, it's too shaded here? So I found that here it would capture the light a little bit better. So I'm gonna move this so that the light can actually hit it today. All right. Moving on to now my little gazebo. So I've always wanted a gazebo since, you know, I got the house. I always thought they were beautiful every time I'd see them. I, I was able to get a sale. It was not expensive at all. Um, I got a sale at uh, Big Lots. And so when I saw this, I just fell in love with it, you guys. Look at this. It's beautiful, it's netted. You can put the net and close every single side. So if there's too many bugs, which we have an issue here, we're close to farms. Lots of bugs, um, got this. I ended up getting this cutest chandelier for really cheap and it's actually battery operated. So you just grab the, and then you just open the light and shut it off. You put the batteries in. I added some flowers for accent. 
um, added some of these solar balls right here. Balls, lights, <laughs> balls. Okay, so it's the solar lights here. Um, and then I've added some of these flickering lights. Oh my gosh, at night it looks beautiful, you guys. I've got four of these. So we've got two on each end. Um, and right here too. And then I've got two on each side of my patio. One there and one over there. So at night, you guys, it's like a flickering fire. So cute. And it's all solar powered, you guys. Just leave it under the sun. And they really work all night long. So sometimes I'll look out the window at four in the morning and they're still flickering, which is so cute. Okay, so here's the leftover from Hawaiian barbecue party that we had two days ago. So these are not supposed to be here, but they were so cute because I plugged them with our huge water resistant um, light, I guess, that went from the top all the way across, which lit up for the barbecue that we had set up. We had tables here and we had dancers and it was beautiful. Um, okay, so going back to the furniture. So the sofa that you saw over there, the three seater, I don't know if you could see it right over there, I guess, yeah. Um, this is the set. So the, this is the other set with the two chairs and the little poofy things. And we added um, a little carpet, which added a little bit of accent as well. So it, overall, it just, just so you can get an idea of what it looks like. It looks so cute. I love it. It is so romantic. It's so peaceful, you guys. This is the view that I have when you sit from this is like basically this is how it would look like literally it doesn't get better than that i mean i love it i'm just so happy in my little oasis backyard and then okay so i love fire pits you guys so i decided to build one i've always wanted one where the kids can do marshmallows so we got these on sale i think buy one get another one half off so we got these little pool cute little pool chairs um and then i i came across a lady who was selling these bricks for nothing she uh, removed them from her backyard and wanted them gone so i purchased these bricks and built a fireplace with my children so it looks pretty professional you know we dug a hole as well added some rocks to it some gravel um these are removable so that when we have our sticks our marshmallow sticks and I'm, we're gonna trim them a little more just to fill in the gap and I do have the cement that we need to cement them but they are so strong um, it was so easy to make you guys I think we used a total of 32 bricks so if you guys want a tutorial for that let me know it was very easy the only hassle we had was transporting them from her house to the car from the car to the backyard so it got very heavy and we had to do a lot of trips but other than that <laughs> Um, if you have help, that's great. So here you go. So that's your fire pit. And then we have the barbecue. And so, and we also have here just our little overhead, um, kind of like, you know, just an area that's shaded so we can put the chairs and relax here. Um, we have the carpet. It was for the performers to perform here. But other than that, I mean, you guys, this is pretty much my backyard. And I am so proud. And I'm sorry for the the table and the, the coolers right here those are not supposed to be here but like i said we just had a party and i'm putting everything away now <laughs> we're cleaning up so oh i forgot to mention kiki so kiki in my tiki bar is right above here so kiki is enjoying <laughs> i love him um the little touches of the tiki bar theme there you go you got the margarita again from that gentleman who had a tiki bar he still has a lot of things and favorite place on earth I spend such a good time with my kids there um it, it holds really great memory for me so i was just really happy to see that you know that handmade cabo san lucas sign which you probably saw in my video 10 things that you didn't know about me so you'll see the sign behind me and that's the sign that just fell behind the sofa so i don't want to but anyways um as you guys see if there's any questions that you have about where i got things like i said a lot of the stuff are secondhand um like for example the sofa you know yes there might be a little rip here yes there might be but nothing that you can't fix and it saves you a lot a lot of money um also got the bin right there the pool bin which all my kids had so much stuff going on they had like the noodles in the pool and they had so many things so we got the bin so that kind of saves you some space and time and and it's actually more organized obviously so 
Um, I think we're gonna go for a little fridge as well. So we're gonna probably put it somewhere here or in the back there. So we'll keep our alcohol. <laughs> Not that I drink, but I am, I love hosting, you know, everybody that I host loves to come here and relax. So this is the day, um, Okay, so this is a day look. At night, you guys, this place transformed. Everything is lit up, it's dark. Um, you know, the waterfall from the pool kind of gives it that constant uh, reminder of like an oasis and it's just so beautiful. Now you may have a backyard that's a little smaller and that's okay because as you can see, this bar is pretty tiny. Custom made tiny because I did not have that much space between the sofa here and the entrance of my house. So technically this is not big, but we're making it work. So you have to work with the space that you have. Although I could have put this right here in front of the windows, but who wants to be staring at windows, to be honest. I'd rather be staring at the screen TV than, you know what I mean? So this is the space that we had to work with. Now, if you guys have a smaller space, you can make it your own and just little cozy touches, such as, like I said, these, these I got from Amazon. I like that they're double-sided, so you can see the lines from this side, and you can see the line from that side. All the, they're darker, obviously, on this side than that one, but you can still see the effect where, and I love the kind of sudden colors. I don't like something too bright, although red would have been a good color to pop out, but I wanted to keep it within the gray scheme of things, so everything is basically gray-beige, gray-gray-beige. Nothing exciting, but, you know. We're probably missing an umbrella or maybe an impala, I think it's called. It's one of those umbrella tree. Um, that's definitely in the future. I cannot wait to um, keep adding because this is not something that happened overnight. I've been working on this for about a month. Um, so every day adding things, looking for deals. Uh, Facebook Marketplace helped me a lot. Craigslist, um, eBay. Um, and I do eventually, where the barbecue is at over there, I do eventually want to do like a big barbecue pizza cemented kind of like a bar um you know like a, an l shape where they're gonna cook um you know stuff so it's gonna be really really nice here so i'm really really excited the way that it came out i'm proud that i've done it all by myself i've had help of course uh, i needed manpower and you know to lift things especially the bar um so i kind of turned to people that i knew to help me out you know to lift things and whatnot but other than that, you know, handyman helped me with these. I drilled this on my own. <laughs> little things, you know. But I'm really, really happy. This is my little heaven, haven. And my kids um, don't want to go anywhere. They're all, literally in the morning doing homework at either on the bar. Yeah, kids at the bar. Go figure. Um, or they just sit, relax. We watch a movie. We had friends over last night. We watched a movie. And... We had some popcorn, as you can see, we still have some leftover, which I should have cleaned, but it got too late. But um, the little light was on. It's just so cozy, you guys, so nice. Do what makes you happy, you know, and, and on a budget, you don't have to be spending a lot of money to find your little piece of, um, you know, little piece of heaven, I guess. I am just so happy and I just want you guys to find that happiness. As a flight attendant, we travel a lot and we stay in hotels. It's really hard to find your home, you know, your, your cozy place at home, because once you get settled, you're gone again. And it's really, really hard, even in a big house as such. Uh, it's got almost 4,000 square, over 4,000 square feet. I like the fact that I can come home and turn to my backyard, even if it's hot, um, you know, and just kind of feel at home. Even at three in the morning, I'll just kind of cuddle if I have to with, you know, a friend or, or be with my kids or just be on my phone and just be in my little here, my little gazebo with the little lights on. It's just so cozy. And I just hope you guys find that little piece of heaven as well. So I hope this was fun. Um, I know it's a long tutorial, a long 20 minute uh, video, but if you need a tutorial on how I did the screen, I can um, put the link below as well where I got the blinds, I can put the links as well. Um, the bar, like I said, someone built this. So if you wanna take a snapshot of that so you can get something similar. He also did the stools and I asked for four stools. Um, PVC pipes, very easy to do, you guys. Like seriously, just take the measurements and get these connectors together. 
gazebo big lots they have a huge special right now you can get these gazebos anywhere um chandelier same thing same place uh, furniture as well these were used this fireplace i got a long long time ago so and i bought it at my local um grocery store and again the screen it's really easy to make it really costs nothing and um, maybe this at uh, amazon little projector so if you guys oh and i have a little speaker i forgot to talk about those these are tiny little speakers they're about the size of my hand they are so freaking cute look at that actually my hand is bigger <laughs> So they're super tiny, you can put them on your bicycle, you can, hand, you know, I've got three throughout the backyard and I have these attachment, these Velcro attachment. I don't know if you can see them very well. And one of the Velcro kind of is wrapped around it and they work with Bluetooth. So I love it. You just charge them at night, put them right back on there or you can keep one here like I do. And then I have another one on the other end and it works with my phone. So when my friends come over, I, you know, if they have Bluetooth, obviously everybody does just put whatever, um, playlist that you have and here you go the music is all throughout the um, entire backyard so i was very pleased with the results i'll show you a little clip of our party um we had dancers right over here and how it just stays lit up and how we played volleyball here with the balls um that lit up at night and we have a little remote for these they're so cute got them on amazon as well got the little remote they change colors and they're super super cool <laughs> so Anyways, talk about grown-ups with a little bit of drinks. Oh, and the coaster too, I forgot to talk about those. Got those from that guy that sold me all of this tiki stuff. Really excited about that. So, um, I hope if you have any questions, let me know and I will definitely answer them. And, um, you know, a lot of people help me in this creation of it all, a lot of inspiration online. So if you need anything like that, I'm here for you. Um, like I said, I hope you find your little piece of heaven and I wish you the best because if I'm happy, if you're, if you're happy, I'm happy and that's the whole goal. So I love you guys. I hope you've enjoyed my little tour and, um, peace be with you. Stay safe and let's start traveling again. You guys, let's get back into it. Let's get back into it. I'm leaving soon in a few days now. We're going to be flying. So I'm really excited about that. And, um, I am going to document that too. Uh, and so Yeah. 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 Yeah.